Hi friends, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. Today is another day that I'm gonna be bringing you along for the meals that I eat. And today's video is kindly sponsored by my friends at Vitamix. So I am kickstarting with matcha and a smoothie as I typically do. Matcha is just my four ingredients that I always put in, matcha powder, pumpkin pie spice, monk fruit extract, and some coconut butter. And I'm also taking my supplements, which right now I'm taking a adrenal health supplement that I've been taking for a while, as well as vitamin D3 and a spray of vitamin B12. And even though we actually aren't going to be talking about Vitamix's blenders today, I do have a Vitamix blender, which I absolutely love. It is the A3500 and it's in white and it is so beautiful and it works amazingly well. And I use it to make my matchas and my smoothies every single morning. So smoothie today was really, really simple. I just did some spinach as well as half of a banana, a scoop of vanilla protein powder, some frozen cauliflower as well as some frozen blueberries. I usually use coconut water but I didn't have it so I topped it with some almond milk and I blended that up until it was smooth and creamy. And then one thing I like to do with smoothies is I like to make sure that they have a bit of protein as well as healthy fats. So sometimes I just stir the nut butter directly or blend the nut butter directly into the smoothie itself but today I topped it with almond butter and I put on some granola as well and I majorly overflowed my cup of smoothie, but this was really, really good and super simple and delicious. All right, so we've had breakfast, we've had matcha, I've done my hair, I washed my face mask off, I did my face routine, and I wanted to now talk to you about Vitamix because I'm gonna do a little bit unboxing in a second, and I want to share the product that we are gonna be talking about in today's video because I think you guys are going to be so excited about it, especially if you are somebody that is interested in sustainability, this product is for you. So if you aren't familiar with Vitamix, which I'm sure you are, but if you aren't, um, they are a nearly 100 year old company whose main goal is to make healthy eating simple and accessible. And they do this through their high powered blending solutions, one of which you have already seen in my video today. And it is the blender that I've had for nearly four years already. And I just completely 100% stand behind their blenders. And that is what they have been known for for a really long time. However, in 2020, they are thinking beyond just blending solutions and they are gonna be coming out with some products, one of which is the Vitamix Food Cycler FC50. So the Food Cycler FC50 is a compact food recycler and its goal is to help you reduce your food waste and it does that by essentially recycling your food scraps in this like little compact machine and it turns it into fertilizer within a three to eight hour period. So it is all about reducing food scraps. You can reduce your food scraps by up to 90% using this. And it's a really great first step in creating a more sustainable, not only kitchen, but also home. So I, for one, am trying really hard to focus on reducing my waste and my consumption a little bit. And I try to do that through like reducing plastic usage, reducing single use plastic, but compost is something that I have always really struggled with because I live in New York City and there isn't a really great solution for us. We can take it to the farmer's market, but that's just once a week and we tried composting at home in our old apartment and it started smelling within like three days and we just couldn't wait for a full week. So this is the perfect solution because I can recycle my food and recycle my food scraps every couple days and it ends up turning your food scraps into fertilizer. So it's so great. 
if you're a plant lover like me, it's also equally great. And you can use the fertilizer like in your garden, in your plants, and everything like that. So I'm super excited to be talking and sharing a little bit more about how to use this and how I've kind of integrated it into my new kitchen routine. And one of the things that we are gonna start by doing is a little unboxing. So I'm gonna cut the video here, we're gonna hop over to my unboxing, and we're gonna talk all about the food cycler and how you can use it in your own kitchen. All right, so here is everything. What's great about this is that you don't have to have this on your counter because it comes with a little collection bucket. I had to take it out so I could show you, but you can have this little thing on your counter or in your kitchen, and when you have it in your kitchen, you have this little top, which is the collection top. It sits on top so that you don't have any of the like nasty odors. It has a filter on the inside, um, and it will protect your compost, I guess, or your food scraps from having a lot of odors in your kitchen. So this can live just like on your counter as your little collection bucket. You can add the thing directly in here and it sits in here like that. And then you have this lid that locks in place like that. And then you can have it plugged in and you would just hit the power button and it would kind of do its thing. So I will be storing this in our other room where we have our vacuum and stuff like that. And I'll just be able to have this on the floor right there and use it whenever my collection bucket is full. All right, so let me show you where I'm keeping our food cycler. Um, this is like our little like walk-in storage closet which um if you guys watch my stories you might have seen and i had to run a cord around behind our washer dryer which is right behind there for our dyson vacuum so this spot is the perfect spot for it um i'm gonna just plug it in back there i have a little surge protector back there plug it in and it can just sit in here while it does its thing i have the bucket in my kitchen which i'll show you but it can just sit in here and do its thing overnight while it makes me some fertilizer. And then, if we come in the kitchen, this is where I will be keeping the little compost bucket um, or collection bucket. So like I said, it can just sit on your counter and within a couple days, you'll fill it up with food and you'll put it in your food cycler and use it. Lunch time and I'm going to be making one of my favorite super quick and easy recipes. Shared this on the channel as well as the blog couple weeks ago now. Um, it's my buffalo tempeh salad bowls, but I'm actually combining, I have like nothing in the fridge, but I'm actually combining the buffalo tempeh with the salad that I shared oh, also a couple weeks ago, my best ever marinated kale, massaged kale salad, which has like nutritional yeast and it's so delicious. So we're going to make the tempeh first, which takes like maybe five, six minutes and the massaged kale salad takes like 30 seconds so it's like the simplest thing and it's full of protein obviously it's super delicious cheesy buffalo-y and just easy so let's get into it so I like to cut my tempeh into triangles and the way that I do that is I cut it first in half and then I basically just cut a triangle cut straight cut diagonal cut straight cut diagonal cut straight and then the last little bit you cut in half so once you have your cut up tempeh, you can just add some oil to a pan. You could also use cooking spray and then you can just add it onto the hot pan. And essentially all we're doing with the tempeh is just searing it. So you're just gonna cook it until it is dark and crusty on one side, which takes about two minutes. And then you'll flip it over, do the same on the other side. And once it is fully crusted, I guess you could say, you will add in your buffalo sauce. So you'll just pour the buffalo sauce directly into the pan. It bubbles up and gets like nice and hot and basically you're just trying to coat the tempeh in the buffalo sauce. Once you have done that, you can just set it aside and make the salad. So the salad is a base of curly kale. I just strip the kale leaves off of the stem and I put them into the bowl and I just like tear them up with my hands. And then once I have my bowl full of kale, I will drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil, sprinkle on some salt, 
and some citrus. I actually didn't have lemon, which is strange, so I had lime, and it actually tasted really good. So I did lime juice, and then I sprinkle on some nutritional yeast, which gives it that like really nice cheesy flavor, as well as a little bit of extra protein and vitamin B12, actually. And then I use my hands to massage the kale all together until the massage is like soft and kind of wilted and feels like it has broken down a bit. Then I top it with my buffalo tempeh and I did a drizzle of tahini sauce as well as hemp seeds. Here is lunch, my buffalo tempeh kale salad. It looks so delicious. I drizzled it with a little bit of tahini and all the stems. Going in my food cycler, FC50. Um, dinner time. You can tell that my hair did not make it all the way through the day. It's like literally almost 100 degrees out. But um, I'm also filming on a different camera, which is why I keep going like this. I don't have a tripod that like works. Um, but let's make dinner. So I'm gonna make something super simple tonight and it is actually like a prepackaged food, but sometimes that's just what you gotta do. And we're gonna roast up some asparagus. Because I don't have much, I'm just gonna go with what I have, which is a wild mushroom red lentil rice pilaf. So there's where my protein's gonna be. And then roasted asparagus because I have some asparagus that's about to go bad. And I think actually a few stocks are gonna go bad. So those are gonna go into the food cycler. And I think that's gonna be it for dinner. Yeah, let's get making it. So for dinner, I'm just going to start by trimming the ends off of the asparagus. And these, like I said, were also starting to go bad. So I had to trim the tops off of some of them as well. And I just kind of set them aside and put them in my little pile that I was gonna add into the food cycler FC50 once I was done. So I just trimmed all the asparagus until it was nice and clean, added it onto a pan, drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil, sprinkled on some salt, garlic powder, and pepper. And then I roasted this at 425 for 10 minutes. That's all it takes for asparagus to get it like crunchy, but also like kind of roasted. You don't want it too soft. And then for the pilaf, you start by adding water into a pan, bring the water to a boil, then you just dump the whole mixture directly into the pan and you'll bring it back up to a boil, give it a stir, and then you'll just simmer it for like nine to 10 minutes. Mine actually took more like 11 to 12, so I just let it kind of cook down until the rice was tender. Once it was tender, I felt like it needed a little bit of creaminess, like I wanted it to be more of a risotto flavor and a risotto texture, so I added in some coconut yogurt, and the thing that coconut yogurt does is that it's really creamy, obviously, but it also adds a little bit of tanginess, and it just really kind of elevated the flavor, and it was so delicious. And I also wanted to get in some greens, as I always do, so I had some spinach, and I added the spinach into the pan, and I just covered it and kind of let the hot pilaf melt or wilt the spinach, <laughs> and then I stirred it all in until it was like totally wilted and combined. And for serving, I just served myself half of the package and then I topped it with my roasted asparagus and I did a little bit of nutritional yeast on top as well as some grated cashews, which looks like vegan parm. Doesn't obviously have a taste, but it gives it that effect. And that was dinner. So I don't know if you can see, but there is the little black arrow there, and then there is an arrow there. So what you want to do when you put it in is line it up. See how it slides right in? If you don't have it lined up, it like doesn't fit in there nicely. So line it right up like that. And then remember, this is your lid that is going to be on your counter. So you're not going to use this lid. You're going to use the locking lid, which is this one. So I have this lock. Hit the power button and it's on. It's gonna go through the four different stages of drying, grinding, cooling, and then it will tell you to change the filter if you need to. See you in a few hours. I'm feeling dessert tonight, so I'm going to heat up a slice of my chocolate zucchini bread. This recipe is on the blog and YouTube channel. And what I like to do is just pop it in the toaster. And I toast it up for a good like five, seven minutes. All right, here is 
my gorgeous zucchini bread. Oh my God, it's so good. Topped it with some coconut yogurt and a little bit of cacao nuts, and that's dessert. All right, it is the next morning. Let me turn the light on in here. And we're going to see what's going on in here. So I'm gonna unlock it. What? Look at that. That is so cool. It's literally turned into, it smells like fertilizer, not in a bad way, um, but it is literally turned into fertilizer. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the food cycler. It looks like fertilizer and you can use this just like you would with like garden fertilizer. So I'm actually going to repot a plant and I'm going to put some of this in there because it's nice and healthy for my plant. And if you had a garden, this would be so great for your garden. All right, so I'm probably totally going to do this wrong, but this is the pot and plant that I am repotting. Um, so this is a philodendron or a pothos. And basically what I'm going to do is it's already kind of loose in this pot, but I'm going to put, um, it has a drain hole, which is great. So I'm going to just put a little bit of this fertilizer and then mix it into my excess potting soil like this. So I'm going to put my potting soil with my fertilizer into the bottom right here. And then I'm going to take this plant gently. This is future Alyssa hopping in really quickly and also reminding you that when you are repotting, the best way to use and create fertilizer is to use the food elizer tablets that come with your machine. And you can actually purchase additional ones just right on the Vitamix website. And I will leave a link down below for you to check those out. Here is my little plant and I'm going to put the rest of that fertilizer in my pot behind me so that it will sit and be ready for when I repot stuff in the future. All right friends, that concludes another What I Eat in a Day video, although it is kind of like a more than one day because now is a different day than yesterday because I wanted to film the whole process of the Food Cycler FC50 for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, all of the recipe information that you need for recipes is linked down below. And of course, if you're interested in checking out the brand new Vitamix Food Cycler FC50, I highly recommend it. It's such a unique and cool machine and appliance. And I love that it can be anywhere in your house. It doesn't have to live in your kitchen. Those of you with small kitchens are gonna love this. It's a great step in sustainability at home. And if you are a gardener or you want to have a garden, then I think this is just like such a great tool to have. So I will link it down below for you if you're interested in checking it out. You can buy them online right now. And as always, Vitamix is an amazing company. They always have a great warranty, such a three-year warranty on this product. And I also just like can't recommend any of their blenders enough. They're just amazing. And like I said, I use it multiple times a day and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks to Vitamix for sponsoring today's video. And if you have any questions for me, you can drop them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.